Hello, wildlings. I'm your creep smith, and you found my fear forge. <laughs> Lucky you. Tonight's terrible tale, Xavier, by fear of. Xavier danced slowly around the wooden box on the desk in an art classroom, slowly sliding his feet on the ground, rubbing his hands and face against the hard surface. Intimate was the only word to describe it. Xavier stopped moving around the box and stood in front of it. He bent over and pressed his ear against the cold wood. Listening for something, he circled his index finger on the box and whispered to himself, Hello? Is anybody in there? Xavier smiled, closed his eyes, and quietly laughed. He put his arms on top of the box and rested his head between them, staying still for a few minutes. He lifted his head and slid his hands down the sides of the box, moving them back and forth. Just not if you can hear me. Is there anyone home? He closed his eyes and quietly laughed again. He sighed and something caused him to go into a fit, coughing repeatedly. Xavier walked to the corner of the room where there were various clothing items on the ground and dirty syringes. He jumped and started banging his hands on the counters and paper towel dispensers, then stopped all of a sudden and looked toward the box. What? Why are you crying? he asked. He slowly walked towards the box on the table, dragging his feet and looking at the ground. He put his ear on the box and spoke again. I hear you're feeling down, he said. Then he bent back his head and nearly fell. He grabbed the edge of the table and steadied himself. Then he stood there, leaning back with his head tilted up for a few minutes before continuing his conversation with his friend. I can ease your pain, get you on your feet again. Xavier went around the side of the counter and opened up one of the drawers. Bending over to reach into the cupboard, he lost his balance again and slammed face first into the counter. He stayed on the ground for a few minutes before getting back up. He reached into the drawer and pulled out two severed human legs. Here you go, friend. You'll feel better now, he said. The room was silent as Xavier pushed the legs against the box as if trying to connect them. He stood straight up again and looked off into space. Attempting to fix his hair, he patted it down and pulled at it, but with no success. Can you show me where it hurts? he asked as he bent back down towards the box, staring at it intently. Zev then removed a tool from the drawer and stabbed a hole into the front of the box. He proceeded to put his finger through the hole all the while, a smile on his face. He passed out and woke up three hours later just as the sun was shining in through the windows of the classroom. As he woke back up, he walked over to the fire extinguisher case. He opened it up and out came a human arm. Save your ham. Are you okay? Judge Ermey said, as Xavier began to breathe heavily in his straight jacket. That's just a side effect of not having heroin for a couple of days. His body is struggling. Withdrawals. He's experiencing them now, Your Honor, Xavier's attorney said. I blacked out, Your Honor. I was reliving what I did. Thank you for reminding me, Xavier said, a smile on his face. Give him a glass of water so we can move on with this, the judge said. The prosecuting lawyer stood up and then addressed Xavier. Mr. Ham, you are being tried for three murders. And you say what I did. It's like you're asking to go to prison here. The first murder, Anna Reynolds, whose severed head was found in a wooden art supply box, whose body is still missing. You're saying you did this? The second murder, Ryan Thompson, whose severed legs were found, but his body was never recovered. You did this as well. And the third, John Lee, whose severed arm was found, but his body is still missing as well. 
what I did you say. You've basically admitted your guilt. Your Honor, I rest my case. The jury may deliberate, the judge said. A few minutes later, the jury re-entered the courtroom and sat back in their seats. A single member stood up and faced the judge. We, the jury, find the defendant, Xavier Hamm, guilty in the murders of Anna Reynolds, Ryan Thompson, and John Lee. Upon receiving the guilty verdict from the jury, I hereby sentence Xavier Hamm to death by electric chair, Judge Ermey said. Xavier, standing next to his lawyer, grinned. So stay scary, wildlings. If you feel it necessary to expand your consciousness, by all means, do so. But do yourself a favor and lay off the Floyd. Oh, and make the most of your nights. <laughs>